today we're going to start on this 2002 or 2001 i forget but it's one of those it's uh you know super duty got a fifth wheel in it we got cross members already so we gotta get under here so we can take care of these these cross members are uh, about done so that's what we're gonna do and be doing Good news is the floor actually doesn't look too bad. So we'll see how that all goes. But um, actually the rest of the truck's really nice. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites to work on. Make it look better. It's got a 7.3, it's a five speed. It's a nice setup. All right, so as I showed earlier, we got this fifth wheel mount, so never taken one of these out there's not much to them you can see there's two rails six bolts nuts are obviously underneath so you got to go under the truck to get them sometimes they can be a bear depending on you know if they're rusted and whatnot but they're usually not too bad and then uh the other thing is is you can see right here these these are um oh what do they call them i don't know but they're like the u-bolts you know they go like that they're down in there and they're also held in by bolts and there's little springs that's for the the chains and stuff for like a fifth wheel or a gooseneck so you gotta get those out too because um, <clears throat> they go through they go through this main yeah they go through here so you gotta take out those bolts i mean i've had them on trucks where i had to cut them out so but they're not expensive to replace if you have to do that i don't know if that's what will happen here but you know we'll see so i'm gonna get started on that and then we can work on getting the bed bolts that we can't see because they sprayed over it with bed liners so that's gonna be awesome all right let's get started all right obviously i got those out all those bolts actually came out really easy it's just a matter of crawling on the cardboard to get to the <laughs> center, and that was it. So now I just gotta. I know I got a bed bolt here since we're working with bed liner. Okay, so got the first bolt out. We did it like that. <laughs> it went okay, but this is definitely better than an angle grinder. One of those heavy wheels, it, I mean, it removed all the material pretty easily. So now I can actually cut it and get everything out. So there's no way around it. It's, this is just a mess. So definitely do it where you got a lot of ventilation or, you know, where you can breathe a little bit. I have a fan and everything, so we're good. We're just gonna keep moving along. Weights in an engine stand, extension, and some, uh, you know, long ratchet straps. Got it down here right now. We'll just leave it there for now. And I do, you know, I do flip these over, but we just, uh, you know, I do whatever I can down here to protect it real nice. So I got this, like, heavy-duty thick plastic. We usually put it underneath here and then, you know, get it up in the air and put it on the face and do everything I can to protect everything because, you know, we're in gravel here. So it's a little bit, you know, kind of a pain sometimes, but obviously it's worth it because we don't want to scratch anything <laughs> if we don't have to. So this is uh, just, uh, you know, taking a look here. Like I said, this is a 2001, at least that's what the, the door post says, 2001. Look how nice the cab corners are on this. We are in the Rust Belt in Pennsylvania, so that's pretty good. So, the rest of the frame is, eh, you know, it's typical. It's not bad. It's just, it's got some scale on it. So, you know, it could use a good cleaning, but.
ready to start getting the sole cross member out. And I know it looks good and everything, but these things just don't last. These, this is the OEM one, so it's only a matter of time before it actually rots through. Guy doesn't want to have to worry about that in the future. You can see it's already starting here, so this is already trash. But anywho, so here's uh, quick tips. I like to uh, you know get a flat edge here, take some reference marks, so you know where the top of the original was, you know, and just stuff like this. It's more of just seeing how close the aftermarket part will be, but. Um, yeah, you want to take a bunch of reference marks wherever you can. Like, I kind of traced it just, again, to see what this will compare to, you know, with the aftermarket one. But reference marks are important. That way, whenever this thing goes back on the truck, it will, uh, you know, go as smooth as possible. Bolt holes lining up, less fidgeting with it. But, yeah, that's what you got to do, so... All right, here's a quick little demonstration what I use to drill out spot welds, um, specifically right now on this bed, because when you get in here to drill, the drill, you know, tends to hit right here. So I'll show you what I do here. I mean, first you have to find the spot welds. These ones are just sticking out plain as day because this isn't completely rotted yet. So um, spot weld cutters are different, you know, depending on what you get. The ones I have, it's just regular, like a little hole saw. So I start with a pilot bit. Uh, let's see which one I'm gonna do this one next. So I got my pilot bit already drilled, so it's right there. And then I'm gonna go back and I actually have this Diablo 12 inch extension that accepts the Harbor Freight hole saw style um, spot weld cutter works perfectly so I can actually get in here and not even hit this so I'll show you how easy this is I like to use a little bit of oil so it's right here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you all right so right there right in front of my finger let's see see it there it is so put that right in there that little snap because it pushed it pushed it away from the other panel so this one's done so that's all it took but uh yep so that's how i do it so it's got a spray in liner which makes a uh, pain in the butt to do these cross members because you weld it through and you get too hot and you blow into the bed liner and then it's popping and contaminated and whatnot so the trick is when you uh drill out these spot welds you gotta drill them out like you know it takes practice but drill them out just right leave the meat there then slide your cross member back over it and then from there you can mark it drill your holes clean up both sides of that cross member and when you go to weld you'll have enough meat to penetrate into the bed still but not blow through so that's what i've been doing and it's working great
how do you know you did a good job? <laughs> well, especially when you're dealing with a fifth wheel mount and all the braces. As you can see, I got it all in there. Still got to put the nuts on the bottom, but everything lines up. I got all the bed bolts in. <clears throat> so we got that there. Body lines look pretty good. So, yep, I think I did all right. It's time to wrap it up. All right, spent probably the last hour <laughs> crawling around under here trying to get the nuts on these. Those were a pain in the butt. These center ones aren't that bad, but these were a pain. There's just not a lot of room and those things, if they kick this way or this way, you can't get the bolt on them. So you have to kind of you know, get them pulled up enough, stick something under that, and then have something on top too. Unless you have a helper, then that's different, but I'm always by myself for the most part. So, got everything done. And, uh, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it because for the most part, it looks like I, you know, I didn't do anything to the bed. The only evidence is something like this, but there's not no way around that with the bed liner and that could easily be <laughs> filled i guess <laughs> so but that's it we're done with this